Phew. Alrighty, alrighty. Welcome back to our video, guys. Um, I am right now currently in the town of Santa Fe, New Mexico, capital of New Mexico. First time ever in this area. And I've heard some good things about the city, and it is really, really, really cool. It is just awesome. I've been walking down the downtown the last couple hours, and I went to a the High Desert high desert angler fly shop and i picked up a couple flies so that's the plan i'm really hoping to do some fly fishing the next couple of days the only problem is i got a couple of good fly i got some really good intel from the guys there uh the only issue is though they've said i've come at pretty much the worst time possible for my time frame here um they said it's pretty much just about peak uh snow melt and so all the rivers are super high and dirty just like in the last video you saw on the rio sharma so they said it's gonna be really challenging for me and I, i've never fished here before so i'm not gonna have really high expectations so it's kind of changed i may end up spending less time here and go start making the drive back home a little bit sooner than planned but i'm still gonna give it a cup a go at least for the next two or three days or so but yeah it's been really awesome this town is just so cool it's just got all these just really old really old historic buildings and it feels like you're like in down in spain or something it's just really really neat it's really cool but i gotta find a place to camp tonight it's getting late and i need to find a place to camp i'm not really sure what i'm supposed to do for campgrounds around here but i want to do some research online and then head out of the town and then try to find some good places to fish around here that's the plan for this video we'll see what happens i might just end up doing something totally different but you never know and yeah let's get into it Alrighty guys, so it is now the evening and came to a spot here just north of Santa Fe about 15 minutes to this national forest There's a bunch of other campers here and almost sunset. I'm gonna be making up some steak fajitas tonight got some leftover steak a um, couple tortillas Picked up a nice bell pepper and We got some shredded cheese Sour cream and salsa one of my favorite one of my favorite meals that I really haven't had in a long time, so I'm going to start cutting up a couple chunks of steak. Let's see here. We're going to get... Ouch. Peppers. Nice little steaky strips. That's right in my foot. All right. Looking pretty dang good, I'd say. Salt. All right, steak and peppers are getting pretty dang close. All right, you know, time to assem assemble some fajitas. Peace. Chuck a couple peppers in there until we get some cheese in there. Figure out the wrong side. That's some more cheese. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We get our sour cream. Our cream. All right, and get our salsa. Oh yeah. Now it's looking like a fajita. Be looking good. All right, well the NFL draft is on right now. Packers fan, let's see if they botched up their pick. 
Oh no, they're still on the clock. Get into these fajitas. They're pretty dang good. Like a burrito. Burrito. We'll see how this goes though. Mm. Peppers are a bit undercooked, but overall, <clears throat> definitely hitting. Here's a spot. Finished up my last fajita. Beautiful night. Santa Fe is right down there. Beautiful night. I'll finish up and get ready for bed. All right. Just made it to bed for the night. Uh, really delicious dinner. Very good fajitas. Um, and yeah, today was a pretty chill day here in Santa Fe. Hung out in the city for a little while. Checked a, cu a couple of the sites. And then spent a few hours at the library doing some editing. Catching up on some... Got a lot of editing done, which was really nice. And good to have just kind of a chill day after a couple of days on the monastery. And getting back into the rhythm of things slowly. But I think tomorrow I'm going to I'm gonna at least... A lot of the places that the fl people the fly shop told me to try to fish, um, they're like an hour away or way out of the way a couple hours. And so, I don't know. I was planning to spend five days here in New Mexico, but I think I'm only going to spend probably one day. Um, I think I'm going to try to fish the Pecos tomorrow to at least say I tried it. Really hoping to get some New Mexico fish. I would really, really like that. But, yeah, I'm going to get to bed. Nice chill day here in the National Forest. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Ooh, good morning guys. It is nasty out this morning. Bit of a hailstorm coming blowing through. It's windy and really cold out this morning. Pretty cozy in here though, won't deny. The weather has been on this trip, I've been very, very fortunate. Besides that one really severe thunderstorm and the wind has been really bad most of the trip, but for the most part, like I don't even remember the last time I've had like a legit rainy day. It's been on and off a little bit, like we'll have a little bit of a little bit of sprinkles every once in a while, but the weather's been very good this trip. I slept really good last night. I slept until like 8.30 and I was planning on fishing the Pecos all day today, but we'll see what happens with this weather. It doesn't look like it's gonna end anytime soon. Look at it out there, what an absolute mess. Turned from hail to kind of more of a sloppy sleet into now more of a snow. Ooh. Completely covered my windows, look at that. From that side, that's a sticky, sloppy stuff. Can't believe it was 70 and sunny yesterday and now it's pretty much a full out. Pretty much a full on heavy, heavy snowstorm now. Look at this. This is crazy. Yep, I don't see myself going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I just left Santa Fe and I left my campsite. It's pretty nasty weather out today, but it's supposed to be warm up and get sunnier out. But I headed north about 45 minutes to the town of Pecos. And now on here, I drove north on this road. It's pretty, pretty remote actually. And I'm at the Pecos River, which is like a pretty legendary, very well-known trout stream. Woo, it is chilly. I don't even realize I'm at 7,000 foot elevation up here, so. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to be done with these weird elevations in the southwest. It just it makes everything so unpredictable. The snow melt and the wind and all sorts of wacky, wacky weather. Oh yeah, this is looking, this is way smaller than I was imagining. It's more like a creek than a river. Wow, this is cool. Okay. All right. I can actually see a couple feet down, so I, I think it's fishable. This is a beautiful river, honestly. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give it a go. Yeah, cool. Whew, very mountainy weathery today. 
very cold and wet, but it's kind of pretty, honestly. I'm just happy to finally find a river that's not complete utter chocolate milk. But the water being a little bit clear, I just got a big old nymph on. Don't remember the name of it. I'm not very good with my names of flies. I just kind of fish whatever looks good. I normally do pretty well. Hitting that riffle hard. Too cold, man. Ugh. All right, let's get on out of here. No luck. It's just not good conditions. High, dirty water, cold, miserable weather, no service. I don't feel like truck camping back here. All righty. Let's get on out of here. Right. Making up my couple of tortillas, and I got this little dog right here. A cute little fella. He just doesn't got a collar, so I don't know. He must be a stray. It's a little bit rougher area around here, so yeah, I think he's definitely a stray. Very hungry. He's cute though. I don't think I don't know if tortilla is good for dogs. Or not. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Nice little fella. He's hungry. There's another one over there. A lot of stray dogs here, apparently. I can't feed you all, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, I'm probably not smart to feed them anymore. I'm gonna get on out of here. I am getting on out of here. Uh, the town of Pecos, I was thinking about camping close to here, but it's really, really, really rough around here. And a lot of packs of stray dogs, um, as you saw there. So I think I need to get out of here, but I think I'm going to head towards, I'm kind of giving up fly fishing and I'm going to head towards Santa Rosa, New Mexico. It's kind of a touristy town. It looks like there's a few truck stops I'm probably going to try to stay at, spend the night at, and yeah. Mm. That is the plan, about an hour and a half drive there. And then tomorrow I'll be leaving New Mexico. But yeah, I'll catch you guys over there. Alrighty guys, so I made it here into a little park in Santa Rosa. And I just, there's actually a couple really, really cool places to fish. I was looking at Google Maps and I found this place that literally just looks like a ditch. And I went, walked down and the water is like crystal clear and I was seeing smallmouth and largemouth swimming around. So I'm gonna give it a go. It's just like a trashy looking little creek and there was like carp, there was like everything in here. Let's see if anything wants a yum dinger. Oh, 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 one's chasing it, one's chasing it. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. I got him, no way, no way. Oh no, he came off. I watched him chase it with the wake. Oh my gosh, no way. That was insane. Better looking still, geez, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. I really hope there are no rattlesnakes in here. Crazy. Alrighty guys, made it, getting light, made it into a pilot truck stop. Made it into a pilot truck stop for the night, there's a couple other RVs here, so I'm feeling pretty good here in Santa Rosa. Tomorrow I think I'm going to wake up pretty early, hit a couple of lakes that looked really cool to fish, and then check out the Blue Hole, which is a really big touristy thing to see here. Yeah, pretty interesting, but I'm going to get to bed, and yeah, catch you guys in the morning. Alrighty, 
Good morning, good morning. I slept pretty dang good last night, the pilot. And back, gonna be checking out the El Rito Creek again, which is the creek I fished last night. And then a couple little ponds and lakes, and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna grab a rod, make a couple casts. Here. That was a perfect cast. I just saw it sit there. <laughs> Don't ask me how I'm gonna land a fish if I hook it. Because I haven't figured that part out yet. Alright. Alright. There ain't much happening here. I should just stay at that pond. I can still just not believe how blue this water is. Like, it looks almost unnatural how blue it is. It's crazy. Just like, look at all the trash around it. Main highway. You think it'd be a disgusting little ditch, but you can see everything in it. It's insane. Look at this. Wow. It's just insanely clear water. Now, I know they stock like trout and stuff in some of these, so we'll see though. Dude, if I catch a fish in here, I'm gonna lose it. This water is insane. I just, I cannot believe the water around here. Like, probably like the bluest water I've ever seen in my life. It's ridiculous. This is just the one of the most beautiful creeks I have ever seen. Unbelievable, dude. Alrighty, no luck fishing. Um, some of the ponds and lakes, they're, they're so cool. All the little bodies of water here are just like the bluest water I've ever seen. It's insane. But now I think I'm gonna go check out the Blue Hole, which is by far the most famous thing here. And one of the top things really to see in New Mexico, it sounds like. Uh, it's a really tiny, like just a little hole, basically. It's this little park and it goes down 80 feet deep. It's the same color as the water as this creek. And it like leads to underwater caverns and caves. So it's a very popular scuba diving spot. And there's like bones and all sorts of stuff down in the bottom, so it's kind of kind of creepy, but pretty dang cool. And I'm at least gonna check it out. Let's go see what it looks like. All right, that was the blue hole. It was definitely a hole that was blue. It was it was pretty cool. Um, I was planning on swimming, but there were a million scuba divers there. 10.40 right now, I gotta get gas and then head on out of New Mexico, and yeah, that's the plan. Alrighty guys, I just got some gas and I'm heading out of New Mexico. A um, couple days here, some beautiful water, saw some cool sights. There's a lot more I wanted to see here in New Mexico, but a lot of it like White Sands National Park, uh, Carlsbad Caverns, a lot of places are just, they're so far away and way out of my route. So I really wanted to fly fish the San Juan River. That was like big in my high on my list, but I didn't realize how, how out of the way it was. It's like in the far like Northwest region and it was way outside of my route. And with the high waters and muddy waters anyways, I wasn't feeling too confident. So I'm pretty bummed. I'm definitely gonna have to come back sometime in like June when the uh, water's actually low and clear and it's really good fishing, not like the worst time of year, like <laughs> late April. But yeah, all that aside, it was still a cool couple days here. I'm gonna get it back on the road. Got a ton of driving I gotta do today, like about half the trip back. So um, yeah, that's the plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys, stay tuned. I'll catch you guys in the next one.